Talk to me about Bruno San Martino. Oh, wow. I mean, uh, my favorite wrestler of all time. When I was a kid, you know, maybe you did it. I'd buy all these wrestling magazines and every picture is there. Bruno, I'd be bumping my brother or my dad. It's Bruno, look at Bruno. You know, yeah, all right, you know, I heard enough of that already, you know. But the time I really got the new Bruno was in the IWF, okay, uh, because he was the color commentator and uh, Dominic. So actually, I was pretty tight with Bruno, pretty tight with Dominic, because number one, now they, they turned me over. We came in there as heels in the first three hours of the taping um, in Allentown. It was me and Hans Schroeder as the heel tag team. Um, so they were putting us over. They had Zabisco. They had Johnny Valiant and Jerry Valiant came in later and they had a whole bunch of other 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 names. And so they started using us really well. And then in a, uh, a match on TV, and this was in a different uh, uh, part of Allentown, it was downtown at the Americas Hotel. OK, they changed their little little place and it was a very small ballroom. And there was probably maybe about 100 people, 125 people, because that's all they could fit in there. Uh, so we did an angle where he turned on me on TV and, uh, you know, I bled on TV. And then I started going over as a baby face wrestling Damian Kane, who was Ed Bonzo at the time and, and uh, a lot of other guys. So they really used me well. Bruno was always talking good about me on TV now, you know, because he's building me up. Well, Shaw was a rule breaker before. And because of the Schroeder, his teacher, Kowalski, he's now – He's now a, a uh, you know, he loves the rules and he goes by the rules and he wrestles. And we can see the talent, Ron Shaw, you know, that we've never saw before. But, you know, behind the scenes, you know, Bruno said, Ron, you did good. You did good. You know, we're going to do an interview with you. And, and I did a couple interviews with Bruno interviewing me on the IWF because after that, that Schroeder angle that we did, uh, he interviewed me a couple of times. And those have not come to light yet. Uh, there's been about six of these videos are finally released from 1982. And I could not believe it because I said, Oh my God, this is, this is like, I, and I've never seen it before. You know, I did all these tapings, but never, never seen them. Still never seen them. You know, I said, wow. I said, this is really a hell of a show. And I watched the whole darn five hours of it. And, you know, and I was in, I was in four, four of them, which was great, you know, but there's more out there to be, from my understanding, they will be released. And I'm looking forward to that. You know? and, I, and I grabbed them really, I copied them and got them on my website. So that, that was really refreshing to see that. I met Bruno with my dad at a restaurant one time. Mm -hmm. Bruno was my dad's hero. And, you know, my dad's one of my heroes. So it was awesome. We got a yeah. picture of Bruno. Oh, we yeah. didn't want to take up too much of his time. He was eating, but he couldn't have been nicer. Fast forward about two years later, he's a, he's a guest at an indie show, and I'm in the back, you know, working the indie show that night. And I, I went up to him. I said, you know, Mr. San Martino, I met you with my dad two years ago. It's such a big thrill. I just want to come over and say hello. You know, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Really? Have a great night. It's like, great. Yeah, isn't that nice talking to you again? So I, 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 I leave, and I walk down, and I'm pretty far down. He goes, Mike, Mike, one more thing, one more thing. I'm like, something wrong? I walk back over. He goes, make sure you tell your dad I said hello. Oh, how about that? what a classy guy Bruno was. That. Yeah. 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 He, he was, he was a good guy. I mean, you know, so there, there are some people that would put him down and so forth, but uh, Bruno had a lot of clout with, with, with uh, Vince senior, you know, I mean, they gave him, they gave him shows around Pittsburgh that he ran that it was, it was all his money. You know, he, he made, he made wrestling the WWF, you know, and, and that was his gimmick just coming out as a wrestler, never a jacket. You know, and that's what was really cool about it, you know, and he and he fit the bill as a wrestler, too, you know, yeah. His life story is amazing, too. I don't know if you ever watched any of the documentaries about him or. or there's, there's, yeah, there's an awful lot of them. And I have watched maybe maybe some of the shorter ones, but I, I probably need to, you know, and yeah, find a little bit more time to do story. that. Because if I do enough, you know, I, you know, I'll sit on this computer sometimes, maybe two or three hours research and then, you know. The more you research and, and, and dig deeper, the more stuff you can read about yourself and, or, or, or the others. Because, I, you know, anything I come across today, I, I boom, real quick, go to the next page or something. like that. I, I have no interest uh, in anything after I was pretty much left the business. And maybe, maybe, maybe about another three years afterwards, I left the business because when TMT was promoting the uh, uh, what was the other what was the other show that was competing against WWF? I forget what it was. WWF? Um, um, and then the nine, Ted, Ted, Ted Turner, Ted Turner, w, WCW. 
WCW. Okay, that's probably what it was. And then I think I held on another three years after after I left, and I stopped watching it. And and I have not turned it on today. Really, have not. 